Weakest strokes I've ever seen. Alright guys, welcome back. I decided to start recording this because I'm about to win. Eight this up. For the match. Um yeah. Like so it's a little weird. Um It's all over. And I don't know what's gonna happen afterwards because this means we won two we won both events. Because I won the last one. This one I want somehow won eight up. Um but I'm going to go ahead and also... Oh, here we go. Congratulations! You've just defeated Tiger Woods and his team of superstars to take over the number one ranking in the world. It has been a truly impressive performance, traveling around the world and dominating all challengers. There's nothing else for you to prove here. Be sure to check out the other areas of the game for even more challenges to accomplish. Okay, well then I'm good. Uh, I'm glad I started recording. So you don't actually face off against just Tiger. Um, and the and if you beat him, is that it? Well, it's just Tiger Woods. Uh, I tell you what. Oh no, we can't even do it. Oh damn it! I was gonna say I'll tell you what. We will get our stats up and then just face them anyway but guess not but we'll go ahead uh, we'll hit our stats really quick see what we can do and then just check out what the PGA Tour has uh, again if it's one you can't really uh, I doubt you can skip or anything, so we'll play like a tournament or whatever. Accuracy, accuracy, okay. Oh, can, are we just going to be able to do everything? No, can't do spin. Or recover. What is, that's concentration, and so is luck. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, these are the last people who won. I wonder if that's real life. No, because there's EA match play. <laughs> the Falls. So we do have a couple that are unlocked. Net AT&T Beach National Pro-Am, Nissan Open, Australian Challenge. Of course, we don't have any of the big ones. Um, Pumpkin Ridge, Fantasy Course, which goes through all of the... Ooh, I'll tell you what, let's do that one. We'll do this. Uh, yeah. No guess, just be us. Um, we'll do this one. It'll be all four. And that will be it for Hello everyone, this is Gary Tiger McCord for EA Sports and welcome to the Fantasy Course Challenge. Get ready for an exciting event played on some of the most challenging courses ever devised. Uh, who knows if we'll win this one because the man these fantasy courses are pretty tough. I'd say the toughest. Yards to the hole from here. All right, let's see. Pretty good shot. For birdie. 
Especially since most of them, like Emerald Dragon, are just insanely long. Got them. Um, Emerald Dragon, the Predator, the Highlands. Uh, and then they have. Uh, what's it called? Safari CC, is that the one? The the, I, that one's probably the shortest. A vista of Mount Fuji Which is crazy. In the background. The fairway slopes from right to left, so keep your tee shot from rolling off into the water. The approach shot is to an elevated green that is protected by bunkers all around. Nah. Couldn't get up it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go with this flop. Way up the hill. Medium this rough. Very good. Ooh. Can you believe that shot? And to think you need driver, driver to get on that one in two, and it's a par four. This quaint little par three is a real beauty. Oh yeah, it's also the one that <laughs> you played earlier. Is key. Keep oh, your tee shot on the green Because it for some reason went price. right. And it went right again. Might as well get your fly fishing pole. You're going to need it. Well, let's just move it over there since for some reason it just flies to the right. And this time it didn't. Well, definitely found Love the rub. It. That chip was weird. Hey, we went from one to three over immediately, so that's a pretty nice one. The fourth hole is a dogleg left that plays between a forest and a substantial body of water. Keep your tee shots out of the fairway bunkers and then drive your second shot to a green yeah, that is protected by bunkers in front considering, and to the left. Uh, honestly, that was going to be really good. Considering the leaders were on minus seven and aren't even done, I don't think we'd be winning this event anyway. Since um, with Emerald Dragon, like I said, most of the par fours, you really can't par even reach into. Like, so ball control is or I, I should say, you can't even reach here. into without like the a six iron. Shots must carry well, or you'll be over par quicker than you realize. One Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> Freaking alarm. So I gotta leave for keep your tee shot to the right to avoid the steep drop in about two hours. along the left side of the fairway. Watch out for the fairway bunkers and make sure you have enough my mom and dad's to house. reach the green on Play your me, uphill my approach. My mom, the green dad, is well brother, by his girlfriend, and the baby. We're having. Oh wow, that's unlucky. But, uh, Steak and shrimp. Good. I will not be having the shrimp because shrimp is gross. So it'd just be steak and potatoes for me. At least you're on the green. Watch this one go left. Hey Shorty, that's not going to get it done. One over. Par five seventh hole. Wonder if I can get this tournament to right done in than back to the left. Aggressive well, players yeah, will surely I be able to try to take advantage of any hours. presented opportunities to shorten the yardage. Beware though, this hole has a way mm -hmm. of racking up strokes quicker than you can say double bogey. The approach shot oh, is uh, over water to a, a quad gently bogey. slow. I already got one of those, buddy. Oh, so you couldn't really risk going up another time. club. Needs to be aggressive to get it up this slope. I know that's not even enough. That's way too much. Oh, <laughs> back to level par at least, but not back to where we were. Let's see if we can get back to one under by the time we hit ninth, the ninth hole. The par four eighth hole. I should say once we finish the ninth. shot from the elevated tees down to an open fairway. Make sure you drive past the signature tree, or your approach shot to the beautifully manicured green will be obscured. Ah, oh, close. Shot for him. Boom, and we got it there. 
Woods minus six through nine. Don't know how on this course, but all right. The ninth is a stunning display of natural beauty, neatly packaged as a par three. It's all downhill to this green, but be wary of the bunkers <laughs> protecting it on both sides. <laughs> well, actually, I mean, we're minus two. We got a quad bogey. So that's three, four, five. I mean, oh, that's sad. The tenth hole is a par four comprised of gently rolling mounds. Place your tee shot well as water and large fairway bunkers await the errant shot. We'd be solo second right now. Up a bit and protected by bunkers in front and to the left and right. Wow, that went a lot further than it should have. It was uphill. I didn't well, even hit it full. And it went like two one. Eight yards past what it should have landed at, so kind of weird. The eleventh hole was a challenging. Yeah, we'd be six right under right now. Requires a well-placed tee shot. The river factors into this hole, so watch your aim. The small, well-manicured green is protected oh, by bunkers hill. and a very prominent rock. Aggressive players may find a birdie here. Pretty sure the three wood would hit that hill. About 170 yards from here, McCord. Oh, come on. It get tricky from here. This oh, is right at the stick. Mm. Heck, I could make this one. I just knew it was in and it freaking bounced out. An ancient castle is the backdrop for this par four. The twelfth is a dogleg right around the landmark to a green that is well bunkered in front and to the right and left. Keep your approach shot out of the sand or you'll be whistling bogey in no time. Oh, look at that beauty. It'll take a good putt to knock this down. Oh, man. Better luck next time. That would have been nice, though. Golf can be such a frustrating sport. It didn't break at all. Four bogey. One. <sighs> that just. Oh, that just. Uh... A cluster of trees comes mm. into play here on the 13th fairway. We did so well There's just to get it to that point and. Shot. Just make sure it carries what is it that gives us? And over Some the kind of ghost break. To the oh, elevated right. green. It's a Frickin good sized bunker. green should you have a chance at it. Yeah, I was going to say, can yeah, this even get there? This rough stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me aim backwards, even though forward is just as easy. I think a flop will hit this tree, though, won't it? No, okay. I was worried. Putting for par. That's why I went a little too much. Not that we got the par. Mount Fuji comes back into view on this challenging par three over the water. Keep your tee shot on target, or you'll end oh, up no, in no, the no, jagged no, no. rocks protecting this green. <sighs> I didn't think it would go that far. This for bogey. And eh, not as easy as it seems here. <laughs> now for double bogey. I like how when it uh Flip. you're chipping or you're on a short putt that breaks a lot, the game lags a lot. The fifteenth hole is a very lengthy par five, played alongside a beautiful expanse of water to the right of the fairway. Given how narrow this fairway is, every shot here must be well placed. The left side of the green is well protected by an Couldn't enormously care. long bunker. Did I mention they were enormous? There's no such thing as an easy putt, but this one's not too Come tough. Come on. Take a deep breath and hit. It's amazing how you have to guess at will it break? The 16th is the final par four on the course. 
Players trying to make up strokes will be gunning for a birdie here. Keep your tee shot down the fairway and place it safely to the green. Go for the long putt, sink it, and charge to the last two holes. <laughs> it's uphill by like 10 yards, and my wedge goes 10 yards further than what it would have landed if it was level. Can you believe that shot? Oh, I can't believe the second one. That's that one was easy. The 17th is a short par 3 to test your golfing skills. It could be tough to judge the distance here, so place the ball well and go for the aggressive putt. But look at this one. It was actually downhill and I had to hit power for it to go the distance that it should have. Of course. Oh. You should be able to make this putt. I doubt it's going to be short. I hate to say it, but that's just a poor putt. And that's back to two over. Because the putting sucks. A very exciting finishing hole, which will be set up by a good drive. The green has some slope to it, oh, but it's lag. not that bad. You can be aggressive on your approach shot, as missing long over the green isn't too troublesome. Yeah, this it is. For birdie. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, we'll finish one over. We just gotta make sure we make the cut. But honestly, I mean... Especially with this, these types of courses where... You have insane trouble most everywhere and the greens usually are ridiculous you have to kind of just get lucky the predator that's the next one oh I kind of wish it was um, Highlands or the Safari one because predator is probably the hardest one Welcome to round two of this PGA Tour event at the Predator. And I'd like to make the cut. Oh god. And going, a, I was gonna say going OB on the first hole won't help. Looking good here. Missed yeah, that one was there. a make or go for par. really far for by. To the right here. He rolled. I mean, we're tied for 53rd right now, so as it stands, we're making the cut. The second hole is quite the teaser. Short enough to try to drive it in one, but hazards lurking everywhere to punish those foolish enough to try. A big sweeping draw to the front of the gorge is the ideal tee shot, which should leave you short, short enough second. to drive it in one, he says. Sure. Don't be overly aggressive here. Sit. Hey, birdie here, if it goes in. Ah. There we go. Back to level. The third green features a false front that must be carried to mm. keep your tee shot from rolling back into the hazard. The green is well protected by overhanging trees on the right and a bunker on the left. Oh my god, I thought this it was for birdie. Thought it was gonna roll. Alright, that's honestly I thought it was gonna be worse. What? Tied for 40, 41st now. The fourth hole is a three-shot par five, if there ever was one. You must think strategy with every shot, as maximum distance on each shot is not necessarily the best play. Birdies will be rare here. Yeah, no shit. Get out the cannon, over 300 yards to the stick here. Birdies are rare on the Predator in general, buddy. Oh god. Oh my god. 
any easier for I put Max Loft on that thinking uh, it should at least carry. What? This isn't gonna make this whole What easier. bush did it hit that was in front of me that was invisible? I would love to know. Still, a difficult putt from here. Just a matter of stepping up and sinking it. <laughs> One over. Yeah, of course. Oh, of course. A medium length par four, the key to the fifth hole is landing your tee shot in position to thread your approach between the two mammoth trees that guard the fairway at 300 yards, which are nicknamed the Snake Eyes. This looks good, should be on the green. Putting now for birdie. Eep. Another long par five. This hole I'd love involves to be... a long carry over the gorge if you plan to get home in two. If you're not five up to under the challenge, by the end of this bailout area to the right. This hole is an easy par. This round but... could be a gratifying eagle. I doubt it. Who in the world is making an eagle on this hole unless you freaking make a Going full shot, shot third? Oh god. Still some work left to be done here. Don't baby this putt. Oh, it'll All probably be short though. Yeah. Like I said, short, a little bit short, or if you go up another one, super long, if you miss on it. Can't really, can't really do much with that. The hole location is key to the seventh hole. If it's placed on the small hmm. right side of the green, you'll be lucky to avoid the gorge which protects it. The safe play is to aim left to the fat part of the large putting surface and hope you two putt. I know you saw how downhill that was, and yet it still didn't make it to the hole. The eighth hole provides multiple options off the tee. The tougher route might require a punch shot to avoid the tree canopy and find the fairway to the left. The shot to the right is safer, but you'll have oh, a huge oh, no. bunker to contend with on your second. This should be very close. All right, can we get it to level after nine? Let's see. Level after nine. The ninth hole slithers its way through the rainforest to the right and back to the left. Placement off the tee will be critical, as if you stop in the wrong spot, you'll have yeah, I try no to chance drop more to reach than that, the green. But... Not an easy hole whatsoever. Oh wow, that thing didn't draw at all, but it doesn't matter. Wouldn't be able to get get there anyway. Putting for par. One. I don't think we've finished level par for nine holes, so I mean we're doing the exact same the long hitters can make their approach as shot dragon. considerably easier if they can carry the river and reach the far landing area shorter hitters will be forced to contend with the overhanging trees oh, and a much on. longer carry on their second <sighs> i hate that so much i'd call this a major league mental error this putt for par so the three was shot. I tried to hit like an eighty percent, and I guess it was somehow a hundred. <sighs> Eleven is a short hole that has several risk reward possibilities. The landing areas are linked together with the remains of fallen trees. You may be able to use those trees to your advantage. I ain't chipping this, that's for sure. Not gonna putt it either. <laughs> you don't know what the chips are gonna do in this this game, and that putt, putt here. that was insane. The 
The 12th hole is a five-shot hole if you choose to play it straight down the fairway. If you're feeling a bit more bold, oh. you can cut a significant distance off the hole if you can find the shortcut to the green. If you do find it, make sure you make the shot, because you won't oh my. like the result if you miss. I'm in the rough. I put max loft, and it somehow goes further than the carry distance? I wouldn't call this a bullseye, On a downhill lie, where it usually will not go the same amount, it'll go shorter. Cool. I tell you, man, there are some really bullshit game mechanics. Pay close attention these to the last overhead games. view of the 13th hole, since you can't see the second landing area from the tee. If you manage to land it there, you'll have an easy second shot to the green, but it's tough to judge the distance to get it there safely. The green at the 14th hole is pitched sharply from back to front, with three nine -nine. distinct tiers to allow for many yep. pin locations. There's a collection oh, area behind the green back to the oh, right okay. to catch shots that happen to run long. <laughs> oh, any closer and that would have fallen in. Yeah. Eep. Well, I remember the club. The Predator is known Nine for some of the its spectacular of the foliage, and plenty is on display here at the 15th hole. It'll take two very good shots to reach this green in regulation. Birdie would be a steal here. Imagine a golf course in the rainforest like this. Ooh. Now that's what you call being on target. Read my lips. Hot <laughs> goes see what happens. right. Okay. Going for bogey here. Y you never know how hard you, you know. Okay, so this putt's gonna go. You know, if if you miss the hole really far past, you gotta gonna hit it really hard. But if I go less, it's not gonna gorge, make it to the hole. Which has been a thorn in the side so of players who knows course, how on number 16, much of the break it's gonna cut off, it if off at all. Some it's none. Who can clear the grass some it's a lot. In the, of the fairway, in the fairway now. Get home in two, but it's a tough shot around some well-placed trees. Just makes no sense. Or birdie. Wow, this is the easiest par five on the Hello. course. Oh, well, can we finish level? At least. This par three plays shorter than the yardage due to the elevated tee, and it's a good thing because it's all carry over the wide expanse of the jungle floor. The easiest pin location is front right. Anything back left and you'll be begging for par. Good I God! Say, that's just a poor putt. Uphill and it still goes that this far. This needs to go right. What the 18th hole may lack in distance, it more than makes up for in difficulty. The Predator's finishing hole will test you from tee to green. The approach is especially testy as it sits on a pedestal and is well protected by deep bunkers. I knew I was going to hit that crap. What a sweet swing. Ah, I knew it was too far. Looking for par here. Nothing is automatic, but this looks make a par. Oh, it's a par four. This is for bogey. I thought it was a par five. We made the cut. Tied for 57th. Good God. I know I'm playing super fast, but it doesn't matter. Okay, the Highlands.
Welcome to round three of this PGA Tour event at the Highlands. Yeah, actually, I just realized I only have like an hour before I have to leave. Oh man. To tell you the truth, this could be a problem. What is what is this? <laughs> I don't know. This putt for par. What was I supposed to do there, really? Maybe it's time for a new shiny putter. I don't know. Or maybe it's time for better game mechanics. I mean, who knows? The tee shot is the key to success on this long par five along the North Sea. The longest hitters can take aim at the lighthouse for the best chance to reach the green in two shots and the best chance for a birdie. I was gonna say it's lucky if I even make it over that. How? You'll have to make a good shot from here. Does it go that far? In the Highlands is definitely the longest. The third hole provides your first look at some of the ancient Scottish ruins that the Highlands is right. famous for. Your second shot is all uphill, Ooh. so be sure to take enough club for your approach. The bunkers on this hole are deep and deadly, so be cautious. Dang it. Oh no, it's in the bunker. I don't think I've actually ever been in a bunker on this hole in the entire time I've played it. I do believe that that was a good choice of club. Fantastic approach. Yeah, I think. What is it? Well, maybe the predator. Teeing it's possible that the one's the longest the action. Of Hingham's castle provides an eerie setting as you oh, I think this one's pitching wedge. Yeah. Approach shot ahead of you. Yeah. Best to aim for the front of the green as you want. That works though. Highlands is nine. This one's pitching wedge. Those are the clubs you got to go with. If it's in the middle, the, the pin's in the, the middle anyway. The is a tight par four dog leg to the left. Make sure you check the pin position before attempting your approach to this well-protected green. Yeah. That'll work too. Let's keep, keep it going. You know. This long par five is made more difficult by the tricky approach to the green. There's water in front yeah, and back can't go of the green, which should the make green. the aggressive players think twice about trying to approach the putting surface with anything but an iron with these in their guys' hands. stats. It's crazy like how that shot. is basically 80%. I mean, it looked like less than half a swing. Your tee shot is critical here at number seven. There's a large landing area for those looking to play it safe with a long iron off the tee. Oh god! But then I try to play to it safe and with the <laughs> expansive bunker, nicknamed Nessie's Lair, that fronts the green on your approach. I was like, I don't think my um, driver can make it all the way over on the right side, so I'm just gonna go with like a three-quarter. Three wood. That should be fine. The eighth hole and of offers course, our first glimpse at Scrotley Lake, which borders the fairway on the left-hand side. Those who can really rip it might try to drive this green, which is pitched towards the center, to accept a longer approach attempt. This putt for birdie. Take some time to read this one. No. <laughs> Watch it blow up in one hole. Just like Emerald Dragon. The ninth was the final hole architect Willem Longshanks built here at the Highlands. I like that Not name. One to plan Longshanks. Ahead. Longshanks ran out of real estate after only 17 holes had been finished, and this patch of land in the middle of Scrotley Lake oh, wow. was all that was left. I'd say he did a fine job considering, wouldn't you? Didn't break nearly as much as I was thinking. This par 4 provides an intimidating tee shot as it's all carry over Scrotley Lake to reach the fairway. Go! 
long hitters can Dang clear it. the fairway bunker that guards the right side. Watch out for the palm that's hiding back left of the green to swallow anything that's long. Ooh. Spot of bother here. I don't think this turned out the way he planned. It didn't. No. Oh god. I was like, but that did. All right. So I mean, after ten holes, we get to just get it two, three under. I mean, that's what five under on the round so far. So. The teeing areas on this par five are cleverly built into another of the many ruined castles here okay. at the Highlands. Uh, so you don't want to go too far because downhill, so it will play shorter than the intimidating if those yardage. pillars are in your way and you can't get over it, you're just hitting like a wedge. And is surrounded by water. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, not enough. Should be making not a enough. safe landing on the green. This one's moving a wee bit to the left, I'm guessing. Yeah, a little bit Just more a to the left. All right, should have made birdie on that one. That's one of the easier par fives to make a birdie on if you get your first two in the fairway, anyway. Keep it to the right side of the fairway off the tee in this par four, or you might find yourself in the abandoned locks that remain from the old Squatley Harbor. Your approach must negotiate tall columns this is probably that one of the, hardest. the rail bridge overhead. This is a tough par par on any day. Because if you hit a bad shot on that tee. Oh. Or you hit one of those pillars on your second shot. Uh uh. well-placed tee shot is required to avoid the large fairway bunkers and thick trees on this challenging par 4. The approach shot is slightly uphill and the green is guarded by a bunker to the back right. Don't overshoot the ah, pen I think I hit or too you little. roll off the back side of the green. Yep. I was worried about going birdie. too far. <sighs> Putting for par. Because, I mean, it was uphill and everything so a full shot should have been at the hole. But from past experience, par four it being uphill, to clear some trees right in the sometimes it of the goes fairway. too far. Beyond those trees lurk some massive to the right. bunkers, Bounce. just eager to eat oh. unsuspecting golf balls. The approach shot must then carry even more bunkers to a very narrow green. <laughs> that made absolutely no sense. It'll be a very long putt from here. Neither one of those shots from the sand made any sense, by the way. I'd be happy with this. This par three requires the tee shot to carry the gully and land mm. ever this so the delicately on the green perched high among its surrounding hazards. That's why. If your aim Again, is downhill and it little, doesn't even carry. You'll be pitching up a steep hill. Oh. Now that's close, really close. The distance, and I had some power on it. So. Keep your tee shot right on this par four to avoid the expansive sand traps along the left side of the fairway. At all costs, avoid overshooting the green on your mm. approach shot. The green quickly drops off into oblivion. The green slopes down from back to front. I mean, not horrible. It's in the rough, though. It doesn't look too bad. That second shot could have been way better, though. This or that third one. This is going right. <sighs> Trying to get out of here with a bogey. Yeah. Well, we didn't. Whoop. We're not ruining it on one hole, but you know, slowly over time, we're. <laughs> Getting our five under through ten holes whittled down. The seventeenth is a magnificent par three that plays over Scrotley Lake. Make sure you place your tee shot well, or you'll end up in one of the deep bunkers protecting the green. I'd say that was pretty good for three wood. The center of the green from here. Does it? Yeah, there we go. All right, can we get a birdie on the last to get it back to where we were at minus three? The finishing hole at the Highlands provides a last it's glimpse of the North Sea. The fairway is littered with pot bunkers ready to swallow any errant shot. The green is perched on the natural island found just off the coastline. 
a fantastic finish to your day. Two good shots. Can we get a third? It's uphill. That's too much. Full power with the sandwich. Can it get there? Ah. He didn't hit it cleanly. This lie won't hurt him. Mark my words, you need to start this one right of the hole. Yeah, I knew I started way too far to the right. Very straight pot here. Par. I mean, nice minus four. We've earned a trophy ball for this score. Tied for 20th, better than where we were. Welcome to the final round of this PGA Tour event at Safari. <sighs> Don't think I've played a full 18 here, so we'll see how it is. <sighs> Let's see how he handles this rough. Really stupid so far. Really? Stay is right this there. For par. Sure. What happened to gravity? Don't think about it. Just tap. Mm. It's a really good drive. Second shot. Actually a really good third shot. And a good putt. And still make a bogey. A par four that requires nothing less than excellence. Keep your tee shot straight and be sure to account for the coastal winds. Birdie this hole and you'll be the envy of golfers the world over. Watch out for the break here. Oh. Just a pathetic effort there. What? Seriously. Do you want to fight, Faraday? I mean, if we would have stayed minus two, we'd be f only four back. Nothing fancy about this par three. A straight tee shot will hit the green, and backspin will keep the ball from rolling off the slope and into the water. Hmm. He might well have hit that on the water. <laughs> Give this putt a good ride. We hit the front of the green. Really, I can't flop it. Going for bogey here. Even. <laughs> Four is a bit of a rest in that it is a par five, but pay attention to the flagstick position because there are a lot of chances to three putt if you don't get it into the general flagstick area. It's dramatically divided left and right. The right hole is harder to get close than the left. This is a putt you should make. Hmm, no should have. For that miss. It's... But you know that one tiny little bead that was going to the right? I moved it to the left and it still broke uh, about uh, a cup's worth. On this par four, aim your tee shot to the left side of the fairway to avoid the long stretch of beach that lines the right. Be sure to use enough club on the approach, otherwise that final bunker in front of the green could be a problem. Still way away from hole here. One. I like how I'm two over, but I am closer the to the right leader than I ever have been. To this par three. Short tee shots end up with a lot of green to cover for birdie. Long tee shots need plenty of backspin to keep it on the green. 
I don't <laughs> think so. A par pot here. Whoop. Three holes, get it back to level. That's it. Did it freeze? What's going on? So yeah, that's a first. EA Sports. It didn't freeze because I could still go to the scorecard and back, but for some reason the loading screen would not advance. So here's the thing. Save that. I know it didn't. God dang. Oh my god, this freaking analog stick is horrible. Alright. This is gonna be a fast round because I really don't have much time after that. I'd be on at least hole 12 by now. Only six holes to go, but instead I'm restarting at one. So, awesome. I guess that is one thing about the. Welcome to the final round of two this gay PGA games Tour I like. At Safari. If something happens. You don't restart your entire round. But then again, with that game. Wow, that didn't come back down. Um, if something happens, like, you're just doing absolutely awful. You can't, you know, reset the round or anything. You have to play all the way through. So. A par four that requires nothing less than excellence. Keep your tee shot straight oh. and be sure to account for the coastal winds. Birdie this hole and you'll be the envy I of golfers the world over. I forgot that I used my iron. So that's awesome. It could have been worse. He caught a break here. Whoops. Trying to get out of here with a bogey. Yep. Can't. Well, I mean, we're pretty much back to where we were after the start, anyway. Pretty sure I went bogey par. 
Nothing fancy about this par three. A straight tee shot will hit the green, and backspin will keep the ball from rolling off the slope and into the water. <laughs> He's in good shape here. I like how the last one that actually landed on the green and was too much. And on this one, it did, couldn't even make it. Just, just couldn't do it. Four is a bit of a rest in that it is a par five, but pay attention to the flagstick position because there are a lot of chances to three putt if you don't get it into the general flagstick area. It's dramatically divided left and right. The right hole is harder to get close than the left. Well, that thing like flew to the right for some reason. And it's like a, a good putt from here. Uh, yeah, we're not making this. That's gonna go too far. What the? This to save par. One All right. That made no sense. But if the loading screen does that thing four, again, aim your tee shot to the left um, side of the fairway to avoid the long stretch of. That's just going to be the end the right. of this be sure game. Because I don't approach. have much time. Otherwise, so. that final bunker in front of the green could be a problem. And there's a lot of lawn to mow here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the right club is key to this par three. Short tee shots end up with a lot of green to cover for birdie. Long okay. tee shots need plenty of backspin to keep it on the green. Don't be greedy, play this very carefully. That's a nice putt. Look for this to break to the left. <laughs> Even. Awesome. Depending on the wind direction and the player's gumption, this par four can either greatly reward or severely punish risk takers. The elevated green makes for interesting approach shots, and putting will require increased precision. The fairway on this stunning par 5 winds through natural rock formations towards an elevated green. Players will be tested to their limits in their ability to maneuver through this difficult hole. Bunkers abound left and right all around the course. The green is long and narrow with bunkers that surround it. The green has an ever so... Okay. Let's see if we can get, <laughs> get past uh, this right here. There we go. The ninth hole is an interesting par four. If you can carry the fairway to the left, you will be rewarded with a more accessible shot to the green. Playing the right fairway may be an easier shot off the tee, but you will have to deal with the trees. The trees. All right, and we're actually under par after nine holes. Tied for third, too. Look at that. A challenging par four that allows even conservative players to easily reach the green in two. However, approach shots can be tricky due to the oh, small the green rough and surrounding first, really. sand. <laughs> I Add couldn't a even carry that. And par becomes something to celebrate. Still way away from the hole here. Oh, oh that's a terrible break. And it's funny, the Emerald Dragon, we had a quad on one hole. And we were one over after 18, this which means we, it, without that quad, three puts a premium on a well struck T ball. Keep everything else with that. Is narrow with significant and we're two under. To the rear. A chip shot is much uh, easier from the front. No, three under. So that being the easiest. Oh my god. Good, I'm afraid. I was afraid to go anymore. Of poor course. Strategy, poor that being the easiest uh, one, poor... I can actually see how the leader's only minus seven and we're minus three. So, I mean. What the hell? So the leader went minus one, two, three, 
four. I think so. They're three under through this round. It's funny they're minus the seven, but they have the low seventies in the every round. Downhill to a cutting surface protected by bunkers on both sides. The undulating green slopes from front right God, to back left. It was uphill. <sighs> Thank you for. Thank you for this putting angle. I love it. Nicely played. Polish it off. Even the slightest errant T drive can turn this beautiful par five into a real nightmare, especially in windy conditions. Straight tee shots can set up a possible green in two, but watch your uh, approach. No. The green is small, slightly sloped, and lined with a couple of nasty bunkers on either you side. You have to be able to hit it over 700 yards. Oh yeah, this is headed for the green. Ooh, okay. Putting for birdie. Oh, I really thought that was going to back easy up. On this putt. No, but I can't do that either, so... Oh, God. Couldn't have done that better myself. You probably knew that. <laughs> Two one. <sighs> hmm. Whichever wind direction players have faced so far, they'll get another feel on this hole as it's headed in a hmm. different direction. A gaping bunker in front of the green stands ready to swallow short shots. Wow, okay. Let's see what happens now. A par pot here. Two. The 15th hole is a par four that requires a strong shot from the tee. Depending on the direction of the wind, the second shot can be tricky. Play your approach too short or long, and you could end up in bogey country. Shoot, because of these greens, you could be in bogey country even if you're 12 feet from the hole. That was a putt that shouldn't have been missed. Um, are you kidding me? Yeah, see? Told you. One up. Just stupid. That's one thing. Uh, love the fantasy the courses, but is a long I like things to actually difficulty. make sense. The water hazard on the front takes away any play short of the green. The huge bunker on the back and the greens don't. for any shots past the green. It's slightly off the mark there. No worries. What? Far from being a pushover, this short par four has a starkly elevated green that is quick to reject shots that don't have enough steam to get up to the flat part of the green. The pin is located behind foreboding bunkers. It'll take a good putt to knock this down. <laughs> that really stinks, McCord, and I don't mean I love how uh, I'm not even going to say it what? anymore because we're almost done with the game. One hole to go. The finishing hole is an epic par five that will test your every golfing skill. A sturdy shot from the tee is essential to succeeding at this hole, so play it carefully. Hitting the green in two is possible, but most players are lucky to make it in three. Set up a nice approach shot to putt for under par. Can we get a birdie on the final? Ooh, an absolutely perfect Probably shot. Probably not. Something you're completely unfamiliar with, McCord. Oh, we did it. 11th place. I mean, not horrible, but, you know, could have been better, could have been worse. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the Tiger Woods 07 playthrough. We'll be moving on with 08 here shortly. Um, we'll be doing 08 and 09 PS2, if the PS2 keeps working, that is. And then from there, we'll move on to the Wii. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day.
and I'll see you in Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008.